It's a new week, which means a new featured five. See if you can guess what all five of these books have in common before I reach the end of this video. So remember, I build a little suspense here by having all of the books face down. Our first book is called Doll Bones by Holly Black. Zach, Alice, and Poppy, friends from a Pennsylvania middle school who have long enjoyed acting out imaginary adventures with dolls and action figures, embark on a real life quest to Ohio to bury a doll made from the ashes of a dead girl. Ooh. Okay, our second out of five books, this one is called The Dollhouse Murders by Betty Wren Wright. This is a classic book. This one's been around for a long time and it is often checked out from our library. A dollhouse filled with a ghostly light in the middle of the night and dolls that have moved from where they were last seen lead Amy and her mentally handicapped sister to unravel the mystery surrounding grisly murders that took place years ago. Ooh, super suspenseful. If you like suspenseful books, that's another good one. This one is a bright, colorful cover. This one is called Pet. And this book is takes place in a near future society that claims to have gotten rid of all monstrous people. A creature emerges from a painting Jam's mother created, a hunter from another world seeking a real life monster. Oh my goodness. It looks kind of innocent from the cover, but man, that summary sounds really intense. This book was a National Book Award finalist. It's won several different awards and it is a brand new book actually, so it'd be a great one. But all of these books are very suspenseful so far. Isn't that interesting? Ooh, look at the cover of this one. This one is called A Monster Calls. This one was adapted into a movie in 2016. It's a novel um, that's from Carnegie Medal winner Patrick Ness, and it was inspired by an idea from the late Mr. Dowd and centers on Connor, a boy who has repeatedly had the same nightmare since his mother became sick. But the monster that eventually shows up at his window isn't the one from his dream. It's something very different, and it demands something of Connor. It's filled with darkness, magic, and a haunting message. It's a fairy tale in the truest brother's grim sense of the term. All right, so that was the fourth one. Our fifth and final book. Oh my gosh, what a classic this is. This is Bram Stoker's Dracula, the mysterious transful transful Transylvanian Count Dracula wreaks havoc on young businessman Jonathan Harker and his fiance Mina and several others. And when he is revealed to be a vampire, he must be destroyed at all costs. Have you figured out what these books have in common? So something I get requests for a lot is for books that are good Stephen King read-alikes. Well, these are all really good books to check out if you are a Stephen King fan. If you have any ideas for the featured five, feel free to email me. I would love to hear your ideas and maybe your picks will be part of a future featured five.